we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? To just go and possibly do research or fact check. And if they do, then great. If they don't, then two dose to that as well. Uh, I just don't have the time. Just when we thought there was no more drama in Hollywood, the 24th is radically different. The man often associated with belly laughter, Kevin Hart, is at the center of the impending catalyst storm. That would be none other than the candid comic Cat Williams, who is embarking on what looks to be a genuine comedy tour alongside Hart's ex-wife. All lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it. It appears that neither Kevin Hart nor Cat Williams is pulling punches as their brawl picks up steam. With a string of biting remarks directed at Hart, Comedian Cat Williams, who is well known for his razor-sharp wit and thought-provoking humor, has sent the comedy world into a frenzy. The dispute started when Williams expressed her severe displeasure of fellow comedian Shannon Sharpie during a podcast appearance on Club Shay Shay. Williams started the heated debate by claiming, in 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold-out Kevin Hart show. Has Hart ever received a standing ovation at a comic book club? When he arrived, he had already made his deals. Have we heard of a comedian who relocated to Los Angeles within his first year of residency, starred in his own movie, or got a network sitcom? A contentious dispute that had been building for years was ignited by these remarks, which completely caught me off guard. By calling Hart a industry plant, Williams suggested that Hart's quick ascent to stardom wasn't the product of innate talent, but rather of hidden forces operating within the entertainment industry. That's why, do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't. Hart gave a social media response. Hart is accustomed to defending himself against assaults. He tweeted, what a terrible situation. I have to vent my rage on you, champ. Enjoy my movie trailer while you wait. It will be up on Netflix in eight days for my upcoming release. In the Googie Matha teaser, Raw mentions that they genuinely adore you at one point. Card sent Kat a snide back, but it didn't stop their growing dislike for each other. Rather, it fueled the fires as adoring fans and followers fiercely chose sides in this intensifying verbal sparring match between the two biggest comedians in the industry. I don't feed into the stuff at all. At the end of the day, it's, it's all entertainment to a certain degree, so you just hope that people can be smart enough. However, this conflict did not start right away. All of it began in 2018 with a heated argument between Hart and Williams. Their argument at the time stemmed from Williams' remarks demeaning Tiffany Haddish, a fellow up-and-coming comic. Hart told Williams how frustrated he was. Williams, have you ever used your platform to bring the people that were under you up? Mm. You haven't. Williams responded with a comment on Instagram that read, It's all good. He's off making $85 million while I'm not making $85 million. I don't mind keeping my soul and earning $1 million a month. The ongoing discussion was sparked by these contentious remarks. In Hollywood, the charge of selling one's soul for cash is not new, but it still carries a lot of weight. Hart has responded to these charges in a way that borders on condescending. As Kevin McCarthy of Fox 5 interviewed Hart to promote his upcoming action comedy Lift, Hart said, I don't feed into the stuff at all at the end of the day. To some extent, Everything about it is entertaining. I simply can't fit it into my schedule. Too much is happening. Hart made the conscious decision to ignore Williams' accusations so that he could concentrate on his profession and future endeavors. Williams's scathing remarks only serve to fan the flames of animosity, and it doesn't seem like the feud will end. Drug allegations are another touchy subject that is mentioned in the origin of this argument. Hart has previously asserted that Williams' alleged drug use was the reason for his declining career. You became a risk to the studios, which is why the studios stopped with you. Why was he a risk? He chose drugs. Hart asserts that Williams prioritized drugs over his career in a 2018 video that was discovered. In the middle of their continuous argument, these remarks reappeared on social media, igniting a heated discussion among supporters and onlookers. Williams has sharply refuted these claims, stating unequivocally that he has never used narcotics. He went to considerable measures to demonstrate his sobriety during his interview on the Club Chi Chi podcast, saying, my temple was clean of substances. When I was abandoned at the age of 13, along with adults, in a Florida coconut grove, I realized that drug usage would never be beneficial. It's obvious that comedians Kevin Hart and Cat Williams do not want to put a stop to their long-running rivalry. Within the comedy community, where rivalries and more serious concerns are frequently hidden by humor, this debate has taken on a life of its own. It used to be a harmless game of words and reputations, but now it's dangerous. That's all I want. 
Nothing more. I apologize. About the apology, and I want to get this very clear. I want to make it very clear. Cat Williams is an amazing, talented... It appears like a recent incident has the potential to intensify Cat Williams and Kevin Hart's argument as if their drama wasn't intense enough. Rumor has it that Tori Hart, Kevin's first wife, will be joining Cat Williams on their upcoming comedy tour. However, this is about exacting revenge on the man who crushed her aspirations and damaged her heart, not just cracking jokes. In order to completely comprehend the magnitude of this momentous advancement, we must go back to the early 2010s during Kevin and Tori's romantic relationship. When Tori discovered that Kevin was cheating on her with many women, their Hollywood terror quickly turned into a nightmare. It wasn't an isolated incident. From the beginning of their relationship, adultery had been a recurring theme. What went wrong in your marriage? Lies and infidelity. My ex-husband who has repeatedly used me in his stand-up routines. You know, for years I had to endure. Unexpectedly, Tori revealed that Kevin had mistresses during his marriage. One of them was his current wife, Inigo Parrish. If these rumors are accurate, this dispute may get much more intense due to additional betrayal. What would happen if the lady you were married to began seeing your partner in secret? The tabloids in Hollywood are mostly focused on that. The idea that Tori was more involved in Kevin's career than just observing him is even more astounding. She contributed creatively to his achievement. She put a lot of effort into writing jokes for his stand-up routines and films, but she never got the recognition she earned. Rumor has it that Kevin did just that, with the money he got from her jokes ruining her life emotionally and financially. He was a shoe salesman the first time I met him. I met him, he was selling sneakers. He's starting to get fame, and I'm kind of feeling like, okay, well, feeling a little... Even worse... Kevin made light of Tori's suffering by openly joking about his adultery during his stand-up shows. It's hardly unexpected that she felt taken advantage of and undervalued by this. People, I cheated. Am I ashamed of it? No. No, I'm not. Do I wish that I could take it back? No. There are rumors that during Tori and Cat Williams' comedy tour, the stage will become a battlefield where long-kept grudges and secrets will be revealed. Tori appears to be attempting to level the playing field and get revenge on Kevin for all the hardships she went through throughout their marriage by teaming up with Cat Williams. Tori has previously received a severe warning from Kevin Hart, who asked her to omit his name from her comedic act while on tour. He is obviously under pressure and doesn't want his previous transgressions to come to light again. But now is when the interesting part starts. In a recent interview, when asked about Tori's role in Cat Williams' tour, Kevin attempted to hide his annoyance. He's obviously under strain as this feud gets out of hand and becomes a dangerous game of words and reputations instead of being a casual conversation. The criticism over Kevin Hart's previous transgressions will persist as long as he remains highly popular. Unexpectedly, Hart's private life does not appear to be at all like the perfect front he typically presents. You may remember the scandal involving cheating in 2017 that caught Kevin off guard. An insightful Instagram video, Kevin acknowledged that he had made a poor decision and disclosed that he had placed himself in risk. He apologized in public to his children and to his wife, Eniko Parrish, who at the time was expecting their first child. Bad error in judgment and put myself in an environment where only bad things can happen, and they did. And in doing that, I know that I'm going to... Misha claims that despite Kevin Hart's marriage to Eniko, he has been having extramarital affairs with an enigmatic, stunning blonde. She did not identify herself, but described the purported side piece as extremely pale, possibly Caucasian, and of mixed Hispanic descent. The former assistant even went so far as to say that she heard sounds one day while walking by Kevin's office, which she assumed were related to a fight between the blonde and Kevin, most likely on the office couch. That's not all, though. Moreover, Misha added that Kevin Hart has an extremely serious addiction to gambling. According to reports, he has been losing millions of dollars in Las Vegas, mostly as a result of his poker addiction. A gambling problem or something? His game is poker. Sorry. He gambled y'all money away and, and had to pay y'all half checks? Yes, I, well... <laughs> when Tasha Kay posted images of a lady who works as a flight attendant on Kevin Hart's private plane, it fueled the flames even more. She was aware she was constantly on vacation. Is she on vacation every day. <laughs> when you see a is she on all she do is post vacation pictures with no beside her. The take it In addition to his romance with Cat Williams, he is attempting to refute reports of drug misuse and business deceit. His private life does not appear to be the picture of a happy Hollywood marriage. The Hart family is prepared for what might be a terrible Christmas after learning of this most recent development. Kevin Hart's drama just keeps getting more intense, leaving us to wonder what will happen next in this never-ending Hollywood tale. Yes? People Kevin Hart and Cat Williams are still very popular, and it doesn't seem like it will stop. However, 
We would like to speak with you before we split ways. What do you think about this escalating dispute? Do you think Kevin Hart is being unfairly persecuted? Or do you think Cat Williams' charges of industry manipulation are valid? And now that Tori Hart is accompanying Cat on the comedy tour, how do you think this tale will play out? Please feel free to post a comment below, and let's continue this fascinating discussion together. I appreciate you coming, and until we meet paths again, keep up the controversy.